How's it going, y'all? I hope all of y'all are doing well. I'm currently headed to the Chattahoochee River right now, so I'm pretty excited. It's been a couple weeks since I've gotten to hit the river, and it kind of rained a little bit earlier, so I'm uh, hoping that the water is looking decent, honestly, because it could be stained or it might not be very much affected. Hopefully the fish are biting, and hopefully the fish are cooled down from some of these high summer temperatures, and we can get them. All right, so our IPA of the day is gonna be the Athens, Georgia Creature Comfort Tropicalia IPA. We'll give her a taste. Cheers to the river. Woo! Little hint of citrus, pretty nice. Always gotta start off the fishing with a crispy IPA. We've got a little bit of broken water here, some shoals coming over some rocks. So we're gonna work up through here and see if there's any trout among all these geese. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Hooked up, hooked up, hooked up before the storm. Nice. Oh, the wind was coming in and this gray clouds. I was hoping I'd be able to get at least one. Easy, easy, easy. There he goes. Nice fish. All right, we've got a really nice deep green depression right here. I caught a fish right above this spot, but I would be hard pressed to believe that there's not a single fish through here. Oh, oh there he is, there he is. Nice. Very nice. I knew there had to be one. It just looked too good. Cheers to two fish. Dunk. There we go, y'all. Hooked up. Hooked up to a nice rainbow. My biggest fish of the day. There we go. There we go, there we go. Nice fish out of the still water. Nice rainbow. Oh, nice jump. Rainbow number four. Nice chunky fish. Oh, what? I just tossed my line in the water and there was a fish. I didn't even, I didn't even cast. I was literally just walking on my way to the next spot. Wow. I was just wondering if this stone fly was gonna work with these type of rubber legs. And uh, before I could even make it to the next run, this guy had eaten it. Very cool. It's always fun when you catch a fish accidentally. All right, so I've caught five rainbow trout so far. I've caught one on the stone fly and four have hit the hare's ear, I believe. Or actually two hit the stone fly. But anyways, I'm moving downstream and uh, hope to catch some more fish. We'll see if there's any luck downstream. There we go, y'all. Fish number six.
He already spit the hook out. It's one of the easy things about barbless hooks is that uh, a lot of the time you don't even have to mess with unhooking the fish. They just spit the hook out themselves. There we go. Oh, there we go. Very cool, very cool, fat, fat rainbow. Came up and ate my hair's ear real quick in that tiny little section. He gave me a good fight and had some good jumps, so he's gonna get to fight another day. Oh, there we go. There we go. I missed a couple bites in there and I just stayed persistent and got this little guy. Looks like my fly may have even had some algae on it and he was still willing to eat it. So y'all check this out, barbless hooks. It's just one, two, three, easy as that. So I started off at the first spot and caught five fish, and now I've been able to come downstream and catch another four or five. So it's been pretty good fishing so far. I've got just a little bit more time to fish, so I'm gonna keep working some deep runs and see if I can't get any more fish before I leave. Got a nice one. So I was just tight lining right there. And got a nice little rainbow. Check out that pretty rainbow. Nice fish. And off he goes. Super cool. So I think that fish might put me at 10. If not, I know I'm around there. So it's definitely been a great day of fishing, no doubt. I didn't even think it was gonna be a fishable day there for a second. Luckily the water looks good and the fishing's been pretty good too. So thanks for joining and we're gonna see if we can get some more fish. But if not, I really appreciate y'all watching. There we go. Oh, there we go. Look at that. It looks like maybe he's been caught and his jaw healed back funny or something like that. It, it almost looks like his mouth was disconnected. So I wonder, this guy's probably a survivor of catch and release. But anyways, he's got a nice fat belly still. Check out that fish, nice fish. So I just broke off my last rig. That's gonna be it for today. I had a great fishing trip out here, catching probably 10 to 11 rainbows in total, maybe even more. I might have hit a dozen, which is a really great day, especially when I thought it was going to be raining based on what the radar was saying. So I had an awesome few hours out here on the river. Now it's time to go back to the truck and pack everything up.
So I was on my way out and I had an idea. Since someone decided to toss this big plastic bag in the water, which I picked up as it was floating down river, I figured I might as well leave this place a little bit cleaner than I found it. So we're gonna pick up some uh, Gatorade bottles and stuff here and clean up the area. Smart water, tennis ball. We'll just fill this up with some garbage on our way out here and leave the river a nicer place. Oh, that's good. Don't do drugs, kids. And don't leave your needles in random places. That's nuts. That is crazy. At least, at least they capped it, I guess. No way. I really hope that's not what I think it is. Right here where kids could be playing near the steps. We've got a razor blade and needles. Not good. It makes me sick thinking about some kids stepping on this big razor blade. Well, it's sad that this stuff was left here, but I'm gonna be the one that takes it out. I really don't know why anyone would have a razor blade along the river, but I'm gonna toss that in this friendly neighborhood needle in there and we're going to toss this in the trash can. So that's pretty much going to wrap up this trip. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And thanks for subscribing. I also appreciate that too. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and hopefully we'll have some more fishing action coming soon.